Talk to anyone uh, around the world seriously interested in honey, and you mentioned Tasmania, and uh, the word leatherwood will immediately enter the conversation. And leatherwood honey is unique to Tasmania. Uh, it's world renowned, and it comprises 90% of all Tasmanian honey, and it relies on a forest resource which has often been threatened. Tasmania's biggest honey producer and the biggest exporter of leatherwood honey lives in my electorate. Lindsay Burke at Riverside. And he started in uh, 19, 1966 with 200 hives, as if he wasn't busy enough. Um, now the company he co-owns, called Australian Honey Products, manages 3,000 hives and produces 250 tonnes of honey a year. And uh, a large proportion of it too is organic. Lindsay Burke, Madam President, doesn't do things by halves. Not content with only producing great honey, He's developed numerous other products based on honey, and they've won some of the six gold medals that were at the Hobart Fine Food Awards earlier this month. He won Best Tasmanian Exhibit, Best Exhibit in Show, and Champion Honey for his Nectar Honey Concentrate. Uh, he also won awards for his Honey Mead, Apricot and Honey Port, Creamed Leatherwood Double Ginger, Manica, and Cider Honeys. And uh, you're unlikely to find uh, honey mead in your local pub, by the way, in case you're looking. But it's uh, an ancient drink that is still well known, especially in Europe and uh, around Holland, those sort of areas. Where they, <laughs> where they, they never heard of it? No, I, I just threw that in on the off chance and it didn't work. No, no that's okay. remind you of the time. I'll carry on. <laughs> Lindsay Mead, uh, Lindsay, Lindsay Burke. <laughs> I got me all confused. You got me under pressure now, Madam President. <laughs> Lindsay Burke <laughs> makes his mead from prickly box honey, and it won an award for the best mead in the world at the World Honey Show a few years ago. Madam President, Lindsay Burke is deeply involved in the politics too of the honey industry, and particularly in biosecurity. He's the Tasmanian and national chair of the honey bee industry. Ten years ago, he supported a group of uh, concerned apiarists who established BeeQual, which is a national, independently audited food safety accreditation system for the honey industry. There are stringent requirements for annual assessment and certification for BeeQual. Beekeepers have to have records to identify where the honey was collected and the history of the bees that actually produced it. 90% of Australia's hmm? nice. and the, yes, name them. Ninety percent of Australia's honey is now extracted under the strict food hygiene conditions of BeeQual. The manager of biosecurity planning and implementation at Animal Health Australia, Duncan Rowland, says BeeQual covers biosecurity best practice for tracing, training, and hygiene and naming, and has allowed Australian honey products. Tasmanian honey go all over the world, Madam President. It's established markets for Tasmanian honey in Germany, China, South Korea and the United Kingdom and others. Three things which threaten Tasmania's honey industry, according to Lindsay Burke, are genetically modified crops. He says people don't want it in their honey and being GM free is a distinct advantage in marketing overseas. The second potential problem is neonicotinoids used as a seed dressing to protect seeds and to separate them and it affects bees adversely, seemingly stunting their growth. This is a threat to agriculture because strong bees are needed to transfer the pollen on farms. Bees are essential, Madam President, to pollinating a whole range of foodstuffs. As Albert Einstein once said, four or five years after the last bee dies, so will the last of mankind. But the third and biggest threat to the Australian honey industry is the Asian honeybee. It can carry a mite called the Varroa destructor. It's a tiny parasite which feeds off honeybee larvae. Asian honeybees are already established in North Queensland, and although I will say Australia is the last country in the world that doesn't have the Varroa destructor. Lindsay Burke says no country that has become infected with Varroa destructor has been able to stop its spread. And he's pressing for the extension of a number of quarantine and surveillance programs to try to stop the spread of the Asian honeybee and keep this Varroa destructor out of Australia. And of course, Tasmania's honey industry is right behind him because he's most of the honey industry. Um, but bee populations are declining around the world for various reasons. 
The United States honey industry has been decimated. In the United Kingdom, the bee population is estimated to have halved between 1985 and 2005. Economists advise Tasmania to concentrate on what we can do better than elsewhere. Not only can we produce the purest honey in the world, but we can produce leatherwood honey where no one else can.